Hello, and welcome to Coffee Chat with Jody Misiak. I am so excited for you to be here today. And uh, grab your coffee or tea and come chat with me. Um, normally, I coffee kind of, uh, coffee kind of mom. But uh, this week, I'm on tea just because uh, I'm feeling a cold. Okay, so I'd love to hear what you're drinking this morning, too. Is it a smoothie, a tea, a coffee? Uh, flavored coffee or tea. And uh, today we're going to talk about a lot of things I've been, it kind of been showing up in my own life and hopefully um, you can relate or they can help guide you uh, down your own journey. And uh, this is probably just the beginning of the conversation. Uh, there's a lot I could talk about in this topic and I want to try and keep this to about a half hour. So um, I know you're a busy mom. So we're going to, if we need to, we can continue this conversation next week. So first off, um, I really had this aha moment last week and into the weekend. I, um, I, I'm one for self-care. I talk about self-care all the time, self-love and all that fun stuff, doing something for you. I nap when I need to. I usually nap like two or three times a week, depending on how I'm feeling, how my son is sleeping tonight, or my daughter even. And I take time for me. I do, you know, masks, and I go to the spa. I get my hair cut. The dentist. Like I do all these things, and I even go to the natural path because we're trying to help find this balance between. Because I'm not sleeping right now with my son getting up. Um, he got up three times last. No, two times. My daughter got up once. So I'm not sleeping. So I know to take care of my body on a different level, on what it means, and my mind. So a lot of these things are just helping me mentally get through the process of being sleep deprived. Uh, I even tell my husband, like, what comes after sleep deprivation? Because I'm pretty sure we're there. But we're, I'm working on getting through those. So I'm taking care of my mind. I'm taking care of my body. But what I realized over this past week is I wasn't taking care of my soul. Yes, I do things that light me up, but part of it was I didn't have adult interaction. Um, because I've been so sleep deprived, I've put off planning things with friends. Even my husband, we haven't gone out for a while. And finally this weekend, the in-laws were over and we're like, we're going to go out on our own and they watch the kids. And it's exactly what I needed just taking that time out of the house with my husband just gave me space to be me just me no to-do lists no mommy tasks of course we talk with the kids now and then but we try our best to, to talk about other things and really just be with each other and i felt like a high school student again like i felt no care in the world we just went out uh, there's construction in the area that we went. My husband's like, just pretend it we're on a path and it's nature. And we just had a lot of fun with it. There was, there was a really magical time. And it's because I needed it. Um, and I really just let that moment be what I needed. And I also went out with my sister shopping last week. So it's just exactly what I needed. And this kind of brings into what I'm going to talk about now. Um, it's feeling your feelings. But we can't feel our feelings if we're too busy doing things with our to-do list. I'm very familiar with to-do lists, trust me. Um, I am the queen of to-do lists, um, which is not necessarily a good thing, by the way. Um, it's good to know what you need to do. But it's feeling your feelings. So it's allowing space. I allowed myself to go out and just be me, to connect with myself on a non-mommy level. You know, I just had fun shopping with my sister. And then I went out with my husband and we just had fun. And there's a type of fun like having, you know, fun with the kids and, and things like that, or even fun on my own watching a comedy, but interaction, human interaction, or sorry, human, <laughs> adult and interaction is, is really, really important. So it's allowing space for you to really feel your feelings. I guess there's journaling and meditation. And as a mom, that can be tricky to do. You might be tired at the end of the day and you don't feel like journaling. Um, 
I know for us, our kids have been pushing their bedtimes back. So now it's like, come on, let's get, <laughs> let's get back to normal. Sometimes you don't have that. So it's like, get out of the house, get away from the kids. So my question to you is today is look at your life and where, where do you need self care? What part are you, are you missing? Uh, what piece is missing of that puzzle? There's, I always thought it's like, oh, self care, self care. You know, you're doing something for you and that's great. And anything is great. Um, but when we don't, when we're missing a piece of the puzzle, we might not still feel, feel full enough. So it's really, it's really incredible when you take a moment to think. And I, I knew that I was missing my friends and missing going out as a, as an adult only. It's just, um, we can kind of get tied up with our lives. You know, it's, for me, it's family, me, my husband, business, and then it's like, I didn't make room for anything else. And sleep, that was my big one. I was actually focusing on sleep. So we don't always do what we really need, what our soul, our heart is speaking to us. And it's what, what do you need next? And it's really just giving your space to feel the feelings. So then what, after, what came after this is what I really want to talk to you about today. And we can talk more about self-care if you want. We're getting into the holiday season soon where I personally think this is the time to, to really uh, focus on you. Make sure you have a system in place to take time to care of you because it can be so busy. Uh, for me personally, it's like looking at my life. I already didn't have that balance and now you throw in this the holiday season so it's really it's really putting that plan in place and one of the things i'm going to do for us in this group is i do last year i did 12 days of self-love or sorry self-care well i'm upping a little bit more and i'm going to call it 12 days of self-love so stay tuned to that it's a free just fun thing to do it's going to keep us focused on giving the time for us keeping us in a loving state and I'll talk more about that probably at the end of November, but it's really just going to be something we do to kind of hold each other accountable and have a system in place so we can get through the holiday season in a loving way, loving ourselves and loving others because that's what it's really about. Uh, the holidays are really, um, yeah, so love, really. Uh, so let me talk about what happened after I made space for myself. And this is where... If you're in the self-love club, um, if you're watching this later and I shared it somewhere else, um, we, like, I actually very much openly said that I cried this week to my business coach. Actually, I cried twice. I had a major breakdown with my husband. And then I had, <laughs> I thought it was good. And I had another one with my business coach. On Tuesday. So... What happened, I allowed myself to have space to feel my feelings and they were coming to the surface. Now these feelings have probably been there for a while, but I'm one of these people that always try and keep everything very positive, very up. Um, very um, upbeat. Cause I'm always like whatever vibration you're on, um, that is the vibration of the things you bring to you. So instead of feeling my feelings, I push them under the surface. And I've done this before. So I should have seen it coming, <laughs> but I didn't. Well, I did actually. It's just that I didn't think I needed to feel them. Because I had this thing where I was like, I need to stay positive. Here's the thing. So first step, making making room to feel your feelings, and then you have to allow yourself to feel them. It is okay to feel bad. It is okay to feel upset. It is okay to share, share your feelings. So what happened is, what's been happening is, I'll be completely honest with you, because we need to share, we need to share our feelings. We need to be okay with feeling upset, with 
with crying. We, I, I, there was years where I won't even cry in public. So this is pretty big for me, wait, opening up and sharing with you right now. This is something I've never have done years ago. But this has been a learning moment for me. And it's really, we need to, we need to feel our feelings too much of the time we stuff our feelings down. And for me, <laughs> I was just like, well, it wasn't that I wanted to be fake. I just wanted to be happy and a very good vibration and very grateful for my life. But when emotions come to the surface, they come for a reason. So, like I said, I've been putting these feelings down. And when we do that, they come up so much more than they, they might have um, if I would have just addressed the emotions at the time. But what has been happening is I've just been working my butt off. Actually, I'm just gonna, I, I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it because I had I wrote some notes down when I felt this, like when I was in the, the state of the rawness, the realness, and I just wrote a couple of things. So I just want to read. I don't normally do. I like to, to come from a place of just being with you on Hobby Chat. But this really came from the rawness of my being on Tuesday after um, really breaking down uh, and sharing everything of what I was feeling with my business coach. So it's like, I feel things, sad things. I get mad. I get upset. I feel like a failure at times, especially lately. And uh, with my business, I've been working my tail feathers off. And um, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been getting the results that I want. And it comes from this place, one, of probably just wanting to be at this perfect state already. And just wanting to be there. But the other one is, is this constant showing up, putting myself fully out there and not always having the success that I want. And it can be really hard at times. We can feel like a failure when things don't show up the way we want. I had this picture of this idea. I have a massive dream and, and really ambitious um, things to live um, that are really guiding me. And when they don't show up the way I want, I get disappointed. Does that happen to you at all? You get to this place where you, you see this thing, you have this goal, you work your butt off, and it just doesn't show up the way you want it to. It's time to take a step back and really look at what is what is this showing you, what what's going on. And uh, it's just taking a moment to really feel those emotions and let them guide you. So I'm going to look at my notes again because I know I have more. So the difference now is that my feelings, like I'm letting them go before I was walking around and I was like a pressure cooker <laughs> or a tea kettle that just was under the surface of boiling, but not. And then these meltdowns, like the, I don't know, I call them meltdowns, but I literally <laughs> started bursting on tears to my husband and then to my business coach. And the section of my business coach is like, you need to share, you need to share when I'm like this. Like my, I have to be open and honest and this is who I am. I'm not perfect. And maybe I do show my only happy sides on the camera. So this is me letting you know that I too have struggles still. I'm not, like I'm on this journey too. We all are. If anybody ever looks like they're at this perfect place, they have their own little struggles. They're just maybe not sharing them or oh no, they're lying to themselves. So the good news is I've started to open up and share my feelings. And this way I can let go of them. They don't have to run me, rule through me anymore. So what was happening is I was feeling all this but it was under the surface. So maybe I'd lash out at my husband 
or maybe I just sleep more than normal. Um, that's a little tricky for me to even uh, see. Like, but some people, when you're feeling sad and you're you don't even know what's going on, you go and and you sleep or you eat more. And it's things are happening that you don't even know are linked to these feelings that you suppressed. And as much as my intentions were good to suppress and be, you know, as happy, go lucky, these feelings need to have a voice and they need to be heard or else they're just going to get, they're going to show up in different ways in my life. And same with yours if you're, if you're keeping those down. Like I was reading Thanking Your Rich and it's all about, you know, just being in this positive place. And it is. But when these emotions come up, we really need to deal with them. And I've learned that. Um, I was really just trying to stay grateful. And and every time I got on the phone with my business coach, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm doing this and this and this. And deep down, I was miserable. I felt like a failure. And like this was going on for weeks and weeks talking to my business coach. I wasn't being honest with her. I... Like, if anybody I need to be honest with, it's her and myself, and I wasn't. When we're completely honest, like, she can't help me if I'm not honest with her. I'm not honest with myself. So, um, it's seeing why it's coming up. Like, feel those feelings, and then wait and see, like, why? Why are they coming up? For me, it's a lot of fear. You know, I failed in the past, and... Uh, I'm trying my best to see failure as a learning experience. And it's also that I'm really putting myself out there. And, you know, being an entrepreneur is not easy. But I really feel it's a calling of mine. And now and then when you get exhausted from just trying and trying and no results, it gets really wearing. And uh, I get up looking. Um, yeah. So I was just trying to stay cheerful and saying I'm just positive to get energy. And sometimes, like I said before, we need to get out of that and really just feel those feelings. Society has really showed us that we can't uh, or we shouldn't cry or we shouldn't be mad and angry. And really time to embrace those feelings and do it in a healthy way and um, yeah so I've already I have other notes that I've already talked about it but when we don't when we don't when we don't talk to these emotions and we don't really see why they're showing up for us then they show up in different places and I would really love to have another coffee chat of of um, letting these emotions go and what happens when we don't let go of them because they, they show up in so many different ways like disease or having a cold just because we're run down or eating too much, um, scarf, you know, eating our feelings. There is such a thing as emotional eating. It's completely true. And uh, so I just... Uh, So they show up in different ways. And like I said before, I could lash out at my husband, like he might not have done anything, but we lash out for no reason to somebody. Or it could just be so many different ways. We all show up in different ways and uh, they're not healthy. So we really need to allow those emotions to come to the surface and talk to, about them. It could be as easy as, um, journaling if you do have that time to sit down and journal it's talking to a good friend someone you trust um, that's what coffee chats for and i also do um free online like uh, free telephone coaching so you can actually talk to me and that's actually happening today at 2 p.m eastern uh, i'll put the link later but that's not really what i I'm, I'm not here talking about this today actually to advertise any of this but know that that is Something that is completely free because I love doing what I'm doing. I want people to be able to, to talk and reach out. Coffee chat is great if you want to like do a little quick comment, but to do really intense coaching, we, I would love to hear your lovely voices. So 
we really need, like that's why I opened that up as well. So, um, So are you being, I'd like you to take a minute and just think, are you being super busy? Are you putting more on your plate than you need to just so you don't have to feel some of the feelings? It is really easy to, to get so busy that we, we don't check in with ourselves. You know, we can do, like I said before, with the self-care, we can do self-care, we can take care of ourselves, we can pamper, we can do all these things, but we're doing instead of being. So are you taking that time to actually just be present with yourself? And it might even be, like I said, get out of the house and get some space between the kids, the house, anybody, like, and other people even. It could just be you going out because we get caught in the cycle of being too busy to feel our emotions. And, and when we do that, then we're, we're really just not showing up fully. And don't we all want to show up fully um, to our children, to our loved ones? So just take a moment today and really just think, what is it that um, you really need? Is it just to go for a walk every day by yourself and to just be? That's a really great way. Um, if you don't, if you're not a meditator, uh, like you don't really like meditating is to take a walk in nature. I find that those are the best idea, uh, best times. For me lately, just because of um, time restraints, the shower is actually the most amazing place. It sounds very, it's just peaceful. And it's my quiet time. And so I really connect with myself there. So it's really finding what, what works for you. And, uh, sorry, uh, okay. I'm just making sure I covered everything. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to look at my notes often. And, uh, yeah, so here I am. Let's just recap quickly. Um, so I opened up space to feel, to be with adult connection, just really something that my soul really needed. And then I had a breakdown. And actually, one thing I didn't mention, though, is it is incredible, and I'm sure you already know this, that when you take time for you, it's incredible of what happens. Like on Monday, so Thursday I went out with my, last Thursday I went out shopping with my sister. And then Saturday I went out with my husband. And then Monday, I was so in the flow. I woke up. I Yes, I still had a rough night's sleep with my son, but I woke up. I didn't feel tired. I Everything just worked. I was really present with my son. He went down and had a nap, and then I did my work. And then when he was up, we worked. To, like, he had lunch, and I cleaned the kitchen. Like Everything just flowed. And I've done those steps before. But they always felt like work. But on Monday, they just felt easy. So it's really incredible when we take that time for us to really connect what can happen in our life, what can really flow um, in the moment. And then it was funny because then, you know, I had to stumble again on Tuesday. But that is what happens. We get up from falling. Maybe we fall again. Or maybe we just trip and we catch ourselves but it's about getting back up again. And how do you get back up? You share, you lean on people, you talk to people. You don't need to do this alone. Doing this alone is the hardest thing ever. You don't need to. I was a lone wolf for a very long time. And in fact, I still fall into those, into those, it, I've been a lone wolf for so long that I actually fell back into that pattern. I have a coach and I never shared what was going on with me. I would just let it go. Like, let's talk positive about my business, nothing negative. Let's not talk about that. Well, let's talk about that. These negative things happen in the world. And it's okay to shine light on it. It's okay to feel bad. 
So today, if anything else that you get from Coffee Chat today is, it's okay to feel bad. It's okay to cry. Um, it's okay to feel. So what emotions are you holding back and not feeling? Because that is where you really need to focus. And for me, it's been a struggle with my business. And every time, like I'll let you know completely, I'm like full out honest, like here I go. I, I, I want to give up a lot of time. I'm like, you know what? I could give up right now and just be a stay at home mom. I shouldn't say it just to stay at home mom, but I could just focus on my kids, stay home and be present hundred percent with them all the time. And that feels amazing. And that would be the easy way to go. But the moment that that thought even crosses my mind, I know I can't because my heart is yelling at me and says, don't you dare give up because like, it would hurt so much more not doing this. I told my business coach on Tuesday, I'm like, even if I wanted to give up, I couldn't. Because if I did, my heart would break. I know deep down to the core that this is what I meant to do. This is my passion. This is my purpose. And even if I just talked to nobody for a year, I know it's not what I meant to do. And who can fight with their purpose and their passion? I know I'm not going to, because it feels really amazing in the morning, waking up knowing exactly what I want to do. I want to help women, help mothers feel their feelings, let them out, move through them. So we can really just empower ourselves, empower our children and just live our lives authentically and know that we matter and that we're enough. Now, normally I would say, I'm so sorry I cried on, on, on coffee chat, but you know what? It's feel your feelings. And I felt them. <laughs> Why did I feel them? So no, I don't hundred percent human. <laughs> and I feel my feelings. Sometimes I, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I put them under the surface. But no, this is the real me. I show up day in and day out, as aesthetic as I try, as I can be. And some days that might be me, sometimes hiding some stuff under the surface without me even realizing it. But when I do realize it, I show up and I show you, because that's who I am. So, <laughs> to leave on a little happier note. Uh, well, a couple things. Please come join me at two o'clock and we can continue this conversation. Um, I am going to actually talk about today um, what happens when we don't let go of guilt, like when we just hang on to it. So we're going to talk about that on today's uh, conversations with Jody at 2 p.m. And that happens the second and fourth Thursday of every month. This is literally my give back to you. This is me. I, you saw, this is my passion. I, if I could, I would live freely from, from doing this for free, but I do need the freedom to help my family out as well. Um, you know, so not, not everything can be free, but this phone call, this web call that I do, this free coaching is absolutely free. And it's not like I do a crazy pitch at the end. It's literally an hour or, well, it depends on who shows up. It can go between 15 minutes, half an hour to an hour depending on how many people have questions. But it will no lo it will run no longer than an hour. And right now, to be completely honest with you, it will probably last 15 minutes to a half hour um, because the volume is very small. And as we get bigger, then that will take longer. And this is me literally loving what I do and reaching out to people for free because I want to give back. I've had so many people in my life 
offer different things that have helped me little bits free um, until I can get to the place of affording things. So this is my give back. And it's also a way for you to see me um, if you have any questions. Uh, if you do want to work longer, but that is just open there and there's no no obligations. So that's that. And I just, uh, please just feel your feelings. Share your feelings with me if you like. You can private message me. You can comment on this video. Please uh, share your feelings with somebody. Don't hang on to them any longer. And we can talk more about that too if that's, if, if that's something that somebody wants, if people want to talk about is, is how, do we, how do we get past this now? We feel the feelings. How do we move on? And what happens when we don't? And I've already mentioned a couple of those already today, but there's a lot more that shows up. Anyways, thank you. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much for listening to this and, and watching this. And if you're watching this later, please, just because you're watching it later doesn't mean you can't comment and share and post. If you've been watching this a month later, it's okay. Comment, share, post. And, and I'd love to, to hear what your aha moments are. And... I would love to just know what's going on for you. What feelings have you been suppressing? And how are they showing up for you? I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I look forward to, to seeing you. Hopefully I'll talk to you at, on, at uh, 2 o'clock today. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.